Hey everybody. Eileen, how are you today? Hey Angie, Leslie, Karen, Allison, Louise, Christy, Elaine. Good to see you guys. It has been a not a great day. I had to take mom to the doctor and then they wanted her to go for CAT scan and blood work and she was not happy. So it was a long afternoon, so I'm very happy to be here with you guys. Oh man, thank you. I don't know what happened. I was out in the rain. <laughs> I should do that more often. Hi, Linda. Yeah, it was. Anyway, hey, Teresita, Diane. Oh, you didn't think there'd be a live? I know. I wasn't going to do it, and then I had planned it, and I thought, no, I'm just going to do it because. I need to get myself back, back to being happy. <laughs> um, the good thing was when I dropped mom off, she went right into dinner and she was happy about that. So today we are going to make, and th this is nothing that you guys haven't seen before, but I thought maybe there's some new people and I see Ann Savage is in here and I have to thank Ann because she, we put the calendar up and it was I had a day wrong and I did that two years ago too. And it's just like, ah, so thankfully she let me know. And there were a couple people I had to tell them, you know, download it again. So I just keep having these like edit, <laughs> but thank you. Anne, for doing that live from sunny San Jose. Oh, I'm jealous. It is like rainy and cold here. Yeah. Well, you know what? I don't, no, I guess I had done a video on it. But anyway, this is the dye that we're talking about. And it's kind of, kind of like the, just the, um, the phone stand, but it's a little different. It's a lot different the way it goes together. But okay, it happens to the best of us. And Anne was an editor, so she knows. Um, here's another one. This is one that I actually did as a calendar. This one I just did with plain mat board. Don't notice that's 2021, even though right now it's 2022. I just put my new calendar on there. Hang in there. I'm trying. You have snow in Michigan, Laura? Wow. Oh, I wish we had snow. I really, I love snow. Anyway, pretty soon. It's not that cold, though. Not cold enough yet, but we're working on it. My, I think my geranium died, so it's it's getting there. Um, anyway, so let me, um, also say the baby was born yesterday. He is perfect and beautiful, but I'm not allowed to show a picture yet because that has to be approved and everything. So he's there. He's doing well. We will get a picture sooner or later. Hey, Wendy Jean. Thank you. Yes. He's adorable. He's so cute. Um, and my son is so happy and so is Kelly. She's happy it's over. I don't blame her. I remember that. Uh, so I will post a picture up as soon as I can. You printed the color, the calendar out on 32 pound paper, made 10 calendar pads. Good job. I, I have a couple. I did them on, um, this is probably 85 pound craft. I do like having these because when you're done, these make nice little ephemera. You know, I hang on to them. And I just use them after, you know, I don't throw them out because it's a nice piece of cardstock. I know, Glum, we do need lots of pictures. I'll let you know when they come. All right, so I do have some tricks to show you about making the calendar. So we're going to do it all. We're just going to go through it, okay? Thank you, everybody. I had nothing to do with it but except having my son. And now it's just all set in motion. So um, that was the one thing that made Mom happy. So she is just not having a good, good little bit of time here. She, you know, she fell a couple months ago and I don't know what's going on, but she's not back to normal. So we took her in and they're doing, they did a CAT scan today to see if there was like a brain bleed or something like that. Anyway, that's life. You know, you get a baby one day, the next day you're taking an 88 to get a CAT scan. And she's not happy with you. <laughs> That's life. So here we are, all in the good place. 
All right, so here is the die that I'm talking about. This is the display stand. This came out a couple of years ago. I think I have four. That's right. My work was done years ago, and I'm glad that's over. And we had that discussion last time. <laughs> or I forget who I had on there, Jenny. Hey, Lisa, how are you? Thank you. That would be nice. You have another job interview tomorrow. Good luck, Wendy Jean. All right, this is a similar die, and I didn't try it, but I think that this would work. Wait a minute. Where's my phone stand? Um, I had it right here, this. So I was thinking, well, it's a little wide, but if you did it this way, you could put a little pen in here. So you could use this in a couple different ways or on a count on a um you know a layout or or just on your desk. Now there's a couple things about this die and I was going to go get my other ones I just ran out of time. I just got home a little while ago. But um you can do it this way or you can do it sideways. It depends on how you want to have it on your desk. So you can, you know, if you look at it more this way, um, oh, wait a minute, that's not right. What was I just thinking? <laughs> totally lost my mind there. There is another way you can do it, though. I mean, you would have to print out your calendar going this way, you know, and read it that way. But anyway, this is how I do it. There is something changeable about it, though. Oh, that just drives me crazy. You know, I hadn't played with it in a while, and I just thought it's time to do it. Alt Papas. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, I am in a weird mood. Okay, this is the phone stand, so you can see it's similar, but it goes together all different. So let's just let's just get into this. I'm gonna use today some gift wrap to make this. I'm not going to use regular paper. You could, but I really like this print and I'm going to cover it front and back. And the other thing that we're going to do differently is, or flip it upside down. I don't think that was how I, oh, wait a minute, but there is a way this way or shoot. I'm going to think of it after and just go, what an idiot. <laughs> oh, well. That's going to drive me crazy. Anyway, we are going to use mat board. And the important thing about this is that the mat board really makes it stable. If you're going to be using this all the time and you're going to have it on your desk, um, yes, that's what it is. It goes this way or that way. Good Lord, where is my brain? Now, this way is interesting because here I put magnets on it and you can... Um, Use these for your dies, kind of handy. Yeah, I need. Oh, okay. They're speaking. They're speaking Swedish there. <laughs> That's why I didn't understand. So see what I mean? You can go this way or that way. <laughs> it's been a long day. All right. So normally I would use this, you know. And if I was using something a little heavier, maybe in the rain too long, could be. Uh, if I was using a heavier duty paper or something, I would use this. I'm going to try the glue stick today and hope that it's not going to unstick because I that drives me crazy. But we will see. All right. Um, before I do that, there are a couple things I wanted to say. <laughs> and I wrote them down. Good thing. Okay. I told you about our new baby. Um, I did go to Hobby Lobby the other day and I got some stuff there and I want to show you that. And I also heard everything is 60% off and I heard it's going to stay like that until Christmas. I don't know if it's true or not, but, uh, I keep going and it's like, well, it still is. Um, the other thing is. I wanted to apologize. I was going to pick the prize in the Comfort and Joy kickoff group. I haven't gotten to do that yet. So I'll have to uh, get, you know, let you know on that one. Hopefully tonight, but I don't know. I can't, I can't make any prize. I may just have to get a margarita tonight and go get some Mexican food and just 
not do that. Heard they are getting rid of Sizzix. Where, at Hobby Lobby, Leslie? I don't know. I haven't heard that. Ah, did somebody else say that? I don't know if that's true. Okay, I'll, I'll see if I can find out, though. That would be horrible. Hobby Lobby is discontinuing all their dyes and die-cutting machines. They're paper crafting. Oh, no! That's not good! Oh, okay, they are talking about bras. <laughs> I saw that's what they said, but I thought that must be a Swedish word. All right, well, things seem to be going the same way here. Everybody's having one of those days. So this is the paper that I'm going to use. Okay, you can see it really is gift wrap. And you could use any kind, um, Mexican food and something good to drink. There was one other thing I wanted to ask. Are you guys having fun in the Comfort and Joy um, event over in the fan club? I hope so, because uh, the team is going, going great guns and doing some extra fun thing for you guys. So I hope that you're liking it. Oh, okay. You got the phone stand to get today along with the tea caddy, Helen. Good. Good. Okay. Good. I'm glad you're enjoying the projects because they're fun. It's fun for me to see them because these are like extra and I haven't seen them before. They send me the pictures and then I do a little graphic. So yeah, they're doing great. Good, Angie. Oh, you haven't seen them. Wendy Jean, they're in the fan club. You are wondering about that as all the dyes were in clearance. Oh, no. Wow, I need to go there. Yeah, that is no fun. Uh, well. All right. Well, I guess, you know, keep keep going. So uh, let me show you the, let me show you the stuff I got from there. I think I'll turn the camera down. Sorry, I am so disjointed today, guys. I'm really sorry about that. Okay, let's um, let's do this here, because then you can see it better. And I did, I was kind of happy because there's some things that I want to make presents for the um, ladies over at the assisted living that help with mom. After today, believe me, they earn every penny <laughs> that they make, <laughs> if not more. They definitely deserve more. It is a hard job. Ugh. Okay, so this was my plan. I got a bunch of these little wreaths. So they were $11.99, but they were 60% off. So I think I got eight of them. I'm not sure. Let me go through here. They were all different styles. That was a different one. Let's see. This one I thought was pretty. So let me get them out of here so I can see what else is under it. This one is, this one is pretty too. So I think I got four different styles. But I thought that was a pretty good price, you know, at 60% off. Uh, okay. And, you know, I'll just make these for the, the ladies and they can have them early enough in the season. I think I'll give them kind of early December. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I got nine wreaths. Yeah, I think they're pretty. Um, yeah, and if you were selling things, I mean, that would be reasonable. And all you have to do is add. So this is what I was thinking. And I know that Anne the other day was asking about, you know, craft fairs. So I thought this is, some are kind of weirdly shaped. So you have to kind of pull them a little bit and shape them nice. But um, what I was going to do is just put like a little truck and then I was going to put a gift card in there and maybe some kind of ribbon up here. Nothing fancy. Oh, wait, that's the top. So, you know, just something like that and stick a little card. It says thanks in the envelope. So that's my thought on that. So that's why I got them. So I did want to test and make sure that the size, I think that size is pretty good. So that's one, one thought. All right. And then, then I got a couple banners. <laughs> I just love these pom-pom ones. I just think they're fun. And I was going to put this up maybe on my mantle. 
I do have some of those like red beads, you know, the beaded kind of, they're little though. I have two of those, so I don't know. I might put them down here. They just make me happy. So 60% off. I, to make one of these would take forever and it's not even worth it. All right, here's another one. And everything now is these felt. You're going on a workshop in a couple of weeks to make your own Christmas wreath. Oh, with real leaves, Dorothy. Those are the best. But, you know, like I told you, I'm setting up early. I'm leaving it up for months. <laughs> so <laughs> the snowman die. Yes, that would be cute. Yeah, or the mitten. You know, that'd be cute too. To put it on the side holding a little gift card. So this one I thought was neutral enough that you could use it like throughout the winter with the wool, you know, kind of neutral, any color. Like for Valentine's Day, you could add in a little red. So this one, yeah, $11.99. I mean, would you make that for this? I wouldn't. It's cute. All right, what else? Oh, then I got a bunch of these little wood slices. I like them because I like to letter on them. Last time I did, and it got, I need to uh, seal that first because I used a uh, marker and it bled. So if you're going to do anything on wood, always good to seal it first, like a clear coat or something. Um, here's some cute little bells that I thought I could probably use on something. Maybe even on that little... Oh, oh, there's a hole in there. Uh-oh. All right, I have to put that in another bag. And I just got some little sticks and lift up this bag here. I love these little Santa Claus. And if you got the Comfort and Joy kit, you got one of those. These are cute, too, for like a small wreath or something. There's my bill. <laughs> Ten feet long. These I thought were also kind of fun. I was trying to see how I could put a... Um, like a light in there, but I don't know. There's not really, I mean, there's that. I guess I could just stick, you know, make this bigger and put the light in. Those little micro lights. And I also got some seed beads. Because those are handy. I didn't have any, like, in those colors. I got these, which I thought for... Oh, these are for Marshalls, $6.99. And those were $6.99, but I like I like these, and I like the colors, so I was good with that. Okay, and then, oh, the little trucks. Oh, and I should show you. Over the weekend, I went to an event. It was really fun. I went with my friend Beth Kingston, and here's some other things that I got, because... I had them with me. This was my little kit. I think I'm going to do a video showing this, but um, these were some other things that I got at Hobby Lobby. Aren't they adorable? Would those fit in the large notebook? Yes, they would, Leslie. Um, we just made these little tiny books that were really fun, and people were very excited because they hadn't seen them before, so now I hardly have any tiny books left. And we just used one piece of paper from Hobby Lobby pad and some ribbon to tie it, and it was really cute. So I think I will do just a quick video, just a plain old video. Those notebooks fit in, yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I already read that. So that was, those were my finds from Hobby Lobby. And um, all right, I'm starting to feel better because... <laughs> get to see the things that I bought and they are good and I think they're going to be fun and they will make some nice presents. So I'll let you know how that goes once I get started. Yes, I know it was fun. Yeah, Beth Kingston and I met out in, well, we met at Creativation, but it turned out that she and I lived in the same building at Fort Knox. And so, you know, they were military, we were mil at different times, of course. So anyway, we kind of bonded over that. And then she only lives an hour away from me. So now we get to uh, see each other and do events together, which is, she is just, she has so much energy, that girl. Yeah. 
So then after it, we went to Red Robin. We got some drinks. We got we got onion rings and mozzarella sticks. They were delicious. So that was a good night. <laughs> do you know when you will do a video showing how to do all the little crafts in our kit? Yes, Lisa, I was going to film them today, but this took longer. Mom had an appointment at 1.30, and I thought, okay, I'll be home and do these and knock them out. And it, then we they got us the uh, CAT scan, and the, so it just didn't happen. But I will, because they're comfort and joy, and I want to show you how to do them. All right, so let's get going on this. So there is our project. I can't believe, and I'm going like this. But you can go like that, too, if you wanted to. But it's like this if it stands up straight. So on my uh, desk, I have it up at like a, a higher level. So my vision is to see it here. But if you're looking at it from further, you can just turn this and then, you know, you can look at it there that way. So um, let's just do one. And then you can see the other benefits, which is you can fold it up to put it in the mail. You know, it folds flat. So you can send that, and it's very easy to put it together. So unless I have some kind of brain problem, uh, I am going to use mat board, mat board for the base because, uh, I, as I said, I like to have something strong. You can use your easy cut, but today we're going to try it with the uh, glue stick. This is pretty strong sticking glue stick, so I'll just put on a little at a time. You could also use spray adhesive. The reason I'm saying that is because this is light. So I feel like between the pressure of rolling it through uh, and the fact that it's light, hopefully it's going to stick. If it doesn't and it starts to lift up, I'm just going to take a little bit of my art glitter glue and I'll put it through. So I want to cover both front and back. So I cut a piece of gift wrap. You can see this is like 12 by 13, and I'm going to cover my mat board. So let's get started on this. Yes, Margaret, this die is available. It's in my Etsy store. <laughs> Go the wrong way. Uh, do I need an assistant for my Caribbean workshop? I, I don't know, Teresita. I, I have no idea how many people are coming. I don't even... I, I'm not worried about it. I just want to go there, <laughs> especially after today. <laughs> Calgon, take me away. <laughs> no, I mean, she did great, but at the end, she was just like, why are you doing this to me? And it was not a good scene. All right, let's just make sure you do it nice and flat. And then, oh, it feels like it's sticking pretty well. I said, Mom, it's either you do it now or we have to come back and do it later again. And the, the lady that was helping us, there was one person checking in all these people. And it was, oh, i not thinking about that now. Now I'm making a pretty craft. <laughs> okay. So see how nice this lays? Oh, thank you, Glum. Thank you very much. All right. We'll just, well, this will be good. If it sticks. That's the only thing about glue sticks. All right. Well, that was, I'd like to save my fancy adhesive for other things. But, you know, if you're going to make a lot of these. Now, what I did with, I made a bunch of these the first year, I think, for gifts. And what I did was I used mat board that had a color on one side, and then on the other side I added my paper. So you can do that too. And they have that at Michael's. You can buy it. The only thing is you get it in a big sheet, you have to cut it down. But that's all right. I mean, especially because I have a mat cutter. So I'm good with that. But if you don't have one, it's kind of a pain. So that was your first. What? Ramona, that was your first Eileen Hall die. Now you have almost 80. Good Lord, woman. That's a lot of dies. It's like how many I have. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So here's the die. And I know if you haven't seen it before, you're probably looking at it saying, what the heck 
is that. But I have to say, this is one of my more, um, I, I'm proud of this one because of the way it goes together. It uses, you can cut it in one pass, which I always love. It's just easier. You don't have to worry about having two of the same pieces of paper. You know, it's just nice and easy to roll it through in one pass and you're done. So I'm going to take my mat board. I'm going to bring it up to the top here. And because I'm doing both sides, it doesn't matter. And they're both the same. But, you know, um, what you'd want to do is you're going to know that this piece here is the one that comes down in the front. So if you're using some kind of directional paper, just make sure that this is going this way, unless you're flipping it. And then that's why I use non-directional, honestly, on here, because you never know where, how, which way they're going to assemble it. So just use a pretty pattern, and then you can always add text on after it. You could add words or stamps or whatever. I'm just going to roll it through one time. All right. I do like this, this die. All right, so let's take it out. And here we go. And I'll do this a couple times because I know that it's confusing. But first of all, I'll say that feels like it's on there pretty well. Okay. So the way I do it is you're going to see that the score lines are on here. It's a little hard to see because of this busy pattern. But what I do is I fold this down first. And then this comes apart here. And what you do is you just press like that. And these little things click in and line up. So it's standing up. And then you just bring this around. Oops, that one came down. And it clicks in. OK? See that? Isn't that handy? Just clicks right in. Let's do it again, in case you missed it. And like I said, when you're mailing it, it folds flat. And all you have to do is put it in your mailing envelope and maybe something on it to protect it, and off you go. So see, this little thing pops out. And that's how that works. So this is how I do it. I fold this one under, and then just let that click in. And then you stand it up, and that clicks in. See? So that's it. That's your stand. So let's um, do a calendar, and then you can see how easy it is the whole thing goes together. All right? So I have gone ahead and printed out in a couple of different colors. I did white, and this is heavy duty. I like to do them on heavy duty paper just because, I don't know, I like heavy duty paper. So what you're going to get is it's they're going to be uh, six on each page, and then you'll also get the 2023. So, uh-oh, I hope I printed. Let me see. Yes, this is this year coming up. All right, and I also did this one because I thought, I'm going to be looking at this all year, and I want it to be, like, very soothing and pretty. So I did it out of this paper. So let's go ahead and cut this one, and I'll show you how. Now, I am using my uh, caterpillar because this is a big sheet, and I want to get it just right, okay? Uh, I don't know if there's any comments here. All right, I don't know. Okay, so what we're going to do is there is a way that is the most economical. This is heavy, Ramona. This is probably 80, maybe 110. Um, this is where I got it. But I think I might have gotten rid of the sheet. Oh, no, here it is. This is, um, doesn't say, it's pretty heavy duty. I don't see that it says the weight of it, but it's white core, so it's, I don't know, I like it. The only thing was my printer got a little shadow thing there, but that's all right. 
so if you get this and you're wondering the best way to cut your calendar up, yes, it is. I, but I think it's 110. I'm not sure. It feels pretty strong. Um, it has directions. Okay, so you're going to first cut this down the middle. And then you're going to trim a quarter inch off each side. And that will get you four by three, which is the you know, the size of your calendar that you want, four by three. Okay, so let's just cut these down the middle. Four and a quarter. Cut it down the middle, all right? So now, you have to kind of eyeball it too. We want this to be four, but I don't want to chop too much off the side. So it could be... I don't know. I'm just going to trim it down so it looks how I like it. To four. All right, that looks pretty good. And then we're going to cut a half an inch off the top. So that I want to be 11, 10 and a half. So I'm going to cut half an inch off the top. Then I'm going to turn it around again and I'm going to go three. So this should be nine, nine, nine. That's a little bit. All right, six. And three. So you might have to fiddle with it a little bit, but basically that's how that works. So four inches over here. So you know that looks a little off, but. Cut a half an inch off the top. All right, now you have nine, nine, nine. I'm gonna move that a little. Yeah, I don't know. It's probably probably me today. Also, I might have printed the wrong month. Who knows? I I don't know. But, I'm going to show you how to put this together. So these should all be about the same. And you can trim them back again if you have to. Some are bigger. Oh, yes, we have to do that. And I would keep these because they're pretty. So you could stamp on them. And you can use cut that and use that for whatever. All right. I am going to get my trimmer out. Because this is a pretty big difference. I'm thinking I possibly cut the wrong one. The wrong year. Just that's how that day is going. All right. I'll look at this again later. So wherever you have a little bit extra, just you know, I'm trimming the this down a little bit. But you're only going to see one month at a time, so you don't have to go too crazy. All right, then you're going to put all of your months in order. Instructions. Okay, and I hope they line up. That's I couldn't take it if they did. I, but I'm going to look at it again. Because I did it the other day and they were perfect. So I, I might have picked the wrong year. Who knows? I had a couple in progress. So I just take them and go through and put them, you know, October, November, June, July, December. It's kind of fun. I, I can do this. April, May, March, and September. Okay. All right. And let's just make sure. January, February. March, April, May, June, 
why. September, October, November, December. Okay. So then you have your nice little calendar. So what I did was, and you can see, this, these are ones that I did the other day. Uh, okay. So these, you know, line up pretty well. And I just cut another piece of board to put underneath. Now, honestly, with this paper being so thick, I really don't even need to do that. But usually I do cut a piece of chipboard, and I'm not sure what I did with it. I had one. But we, I, I can always add it on after. So the important thing to do is to remember to use your PVA glue. The reason I like this is that it is um, flexible. So if you want to bend your calendar, say you use the lighter weight paper, you can bend it, you know, and it will just stay nice and together. So actually, I'm going to take all of my tops and put them so they line up up here. And then what I do is I take like this little buffer piece and I put it like this. And then I take another one and I put it over here. And get a couple clips and clip them. Okay. And the reason is I want to have um, I want to have this nice and tight and straight. Okay. Yeah, I think it is 110, Lisa. It feels like that. Before trimming bottom off, I use one of your label thinlets and die cut out. Oh, that's a good idea to die cut the year. Yes. All right, and then what you can do, uh-oh, I have a leak here. Um, you can just put this whole thing like that, and I usually just use my finger to smooth that over, and I give it good coating. And then I let it dry, and I usually do two or maybe three layers of this glue because I don't want it coming off but I have never had any problem with it so I have these ready to go oh here's that piece of course uh, oh that looks pretty good maybe I can still stick that on there see how good that's already holding I can trim that after I'll take out my blade, Leslie, and <laughs> trim it. Little does my husband know. He just got home. Tonight is going to be an on-the-border night. <laughs> That's what my place is called. Surprise. All right, I'm just going to take some of this because it's just sitting there and include this. And if you get some, you know, going over the edge, I just kind of wipe it off with like an old towel or something that doesn't have a lot of lint, you know, just or even your finger like that, and smooth it out. So that is pretty much it. And then I just let it let that dry for a little bit. Let me wipe my hand off. And then I take double-sided adhesive, and I do use the red line tape for this, and I just center it and stick it on, be this way. I just stick it on my calendar, whichever way. So you do kind of have to think ahead about which orientation do you want. If you're going to lay it this way, you know, you go like that. If you're going sideways, you're out of luck because it's too wide. <laughs> well, actually, you could. That would just fit. Or if you're going to go this way, then, you know, your title should be up here. So just, you know, figure out how you want to do it. If you're giving it to someone, you could leave it off and maybe just leave the release paper and explain, you know, just write a little note or send a picture that says it can go this way or that way and then let them choose you know if you're giving it you can also add lots of cute little 
flowers or uh, doodads here, but I like Leslie's idea of the year. Um, the, this one, I just hand lettered that. So you could do that. You could rubber stamp it. You could do whatever you want. This background you also could. You could do this out of white and it would be beautiful. This one I did and I think what I wound up doing. Yeah, I just did it out of white and then I took a Copic marker and just colored in this part here. And it looks like the whole thing is colored. So anyway, that is how you do it. And I only have... Counting down, guys. Almost 2023. Yes, it would make a really nice gift. Oh, hey, Kim. <laughs> Sorry, I'm losing my mind here. You came on a bad day. <laughs> um, but like Leslie said, she cuts hers out of a shape. That's a nice idea. Um, it is a very quick gift. And any everybody needs a calendar. Sunflower coming up from the back. Yes, it would. Random photos. Yes, somebody did do this as a photo display. You know, they're, they'd be little. Because this is, let's measure this. This is uh, five by four. And so you have kind of that similar proportion of the three by four calendar here. So you could do any color. I like that blue. I also printed it out on white. And usually what I do if I'm making these is I will batch them and do a whole bunch at one time just so that I have them ready to go. And I have done them out of copy paper too and they work fine. So you can put random photos in between the months. Oh, that <laughs> to make your friends laugh? <laughs> that would be fun. You always check in for a bit whenever you can get your Eileen voice fixed. Oh, thanks, Kim. Kim is my friend from the Army from years ago. We had a business together. We had so much fun in the land of the frozen chosen up in New York. <laughs> so here, yeah, see, it's not dry yet. But I would add a couple more layers. But it's good enough for us to look at. And I think that looks nice. Pretty heavy though, you know. The heavier weight the paper, the heavier it heavier it is. So that's why I would use the red line tape on the back. And again, if you were going to put it in the mail, you know, I would lay this flat. I would just fold this down flat, and then you know maybe wrap that or something, and put some kind of little explanation of how this goes together. Which good luck with that. <laughs> Put that little thing in the hole and it goes around where you think it shouldn't go. Or you could do a video and just send it. Anyway, the stand works with the waterfall die too. Yes, it probably does. You have this die. You're going to do it tomorrow. Okay, good. Excellent. Cut down the shadow box frame. Yes, you can use this also as a stand. I mean, you could you could punch some holes here and do those little photo clear pocket things and put photos in it. You know, that would be really cute and just have it hang down and flip it over or uh, one of those far side calendars. I don't know if I'd put that in here, but you could. You're confused. Where are the comments coming from? Oh, okay. Not afraid of color. Um, you know what? We are streaming um, to YouTube and to Facebook. So I see both comments, but I think you, if you're on YouTube, you only see the YouTube comments. So don't be, don't worry. <laughs> you're not missing anything. There are probably Facebook comments that I'm responding to. I know that's confusing. Um, cut down the shadow box frame sides and put on instead of calendar and put photo or scene inside. Yeah, that'd be cool. Print uh, on a strip of paper the link to a video from YouTube. Oh, that's a good idea, Leslie. That's a great idea. Yeah, okay, you got it. Not afraid of color, yeah. But thank you for watching on YouTube. <laughs> so that is our calendar, pretty much. That's how it works, okay? So I have the digital to the calendar. It is in my Etsy store, which is Eileen Hall Etsy shop. So if you have this, it's only $2, and you can print out as many as you want. 
over and over and over, a hundred of them if you want, and you can make this little project. I also have four of these dies in my Etsy store if anybody needs one, okay? So that's what we did today. And last night I was up all night doing nothing like this. I was working with envelopes. So that is another project that I want to show in the fan club in uh, our country, uh, Comfort and Joy event. So let me just show you a couple of them. These are all things that I made from recycled envelopes. So this one is like a little notebook and it folds around a table or a, a, table, a page in a junk journal. So I took some of my uh, papers from Hobby Lobby that I got. Look at this. These are so fun. Anyway, this is what I was doing until four in the morning. <laughs> That's a little tuck. Look at these. Aren't they fun? Oh, I had, I just had a blast and I'm, I'm glad I did that before today because <laughs> it got me in a good mood. I didn't finish them all, but these are kind of fun. The best are these window envelopes because, you know, they make a nice little sound and you can see things through them. And then some are bigger. You know, this one has a little flap, so you could tuck that into a book or wrap it around a page. Front and back, you can use this one. This had a big envelope, so I've been collecting them for a while. This one, actually, you can put over the edge of a page. However, it, this one can go either way, from the bottom up or over the top. And then here's a big one. So anyway, yeah, that's what I was doing last night. Just two dies left now. Uh-oh. Well, thank you, Glum. All right, you know what? I have to go adjust. I did sell a bunch of dies this weekend because I brought two of each over to this event that I went to, and they were buying them up like crazy. So thank you to everybody that came to Weekend Memories Retreat who bought my dies. So I have to go through and adjust the um, my quantities in my Etsy store. Here's another one, just a little notebook and I was going to make some oh these are these are some other little books these were just so much fun I was just having just a good time making these little books and these little envelopes and you know some days you just don't want to think <laughs> so I was going to make some of these and stick them in with purchases from people who bought from my Etsy store so you might get one of these who knows all right, so again, sorry about that I didn't pick the winner, but I will get on that. And if you have this die, make some, because these are, these are really nice presents for people. You always need calendars. And, you know, it's getting now where I do put everything in my Google or my, my, my calendar, but I also like something sitting on my desk saying, oh, I have a Facebook Live on November 15th. And this is our comfort and joy. And this is Thanksgiving. And, you know, it just makes it easier to see at a glance. If I run out of the dime, I'd see shop. Craft Direct has some. Oh, look at her. She is so good. It is discontinued. When it's gone, it's really gone. <laughs> the little extras. Oh, good. Thank you, Angie. Well, I appreciate your business. I am going to do something fun. <laughs> oh, thanks for coming, Ann. And someday we're going to meet up. I'm telling you, I'm coming to your craft show if I can. If I'm going to be here. I don't know. It might be when I'm on the cruise. <laughs> oh, Laura. Well, thank you. Yeah, I, I did think about, well, what I thought was at 4 o'clock when they said you can get this test for mom, I thought I better just cancel it. But then when I got back there, they didn't have anybody else. This CAT scan took like five minutes and the blood took about 10 minutes. So I got home. So I thought, well, it was meant to be. So I did it. And here we are. Okay. Well, thank you. Thanks, Dorothy. So go make some calendars and put them in the fan club. Let us see what yours look like. Okay. All right. See you guys. Thanks for coming.
Bye bye. Oh, we do have a, a um a live tomorrow with Madeline in the fan club. So come and see us. Okay. She's going to do a really cute project. All right. See you soon. Bye. Thanks.